results. And a couple of guys we potentially will see in that 4x4 relay this year in Paris, Ry Benjamin and Justin Robinson. Benjamin making his outdoor debut. He'll be in lane five. But this is a guy who, obviously his main event is the 400 hurdles. After beating Carson Warholm at the Prefontaine Classic, that confidence has to gotten to rise so much. For sure. What it does is it tells you we're on the right path, but it also tells you that knowing uh, Warholm, he's a mental monster. There's no way that he took that defeat and he said, oh man, it's over. I mean, he's done a bunch of interviews now where he's like, we have to ramp it up even more. You're like, ramp it up and you already ran a 45. He's like, I don't take losses easily. And Rye Benjamin knows it. Rye Benjamin's like, and neither do I, so let's go. And so that's why you step into this 400 to really work on that foot speed, really get even more comfortable with this 400. So then when you put those hurdles in the way, you're like, this is what I do, whether there are hurdles here or not. I'm very, very comfortable with going one lap around that. And beating Warholm in Eugene at that Diamond Link final proved that Warholm can be defeated. And that Rye Benjamin, which it took a while during this last outdoor season for him to get going, but it's shown he's a legit contender for that gold medal in Paris this year in the 400 hurdles. That's something that you actually need to, you believe it, but until it happens, it might be a little question in the back of your mind. Can Warholm be beat? You train extremely hard, and you know at this time you're the second best in the world, but you believe you're the best. Can I beat Warholm when I'm at my best and he's at his best? And the fact that he did that was a game changer, and I know that he's gone back to practice, and the conversation has changed even more. It's Kamali Felix right there of Arizona State, eighth in the 400 at NCAA's outdoors last year. And you got to think Justin Robin has, Robinson has the same mindset as well, coming off of an indoor world championships from that 4x4. Four four. And he just ran the 4x1 that just got off the track. So from the inside out, Luis Antonio Villas Ferro, Ismail Turner of UCLA, Joseph Nakajima of Japan, Benjamin Robinson, Richard Johnson of Oklahoma, and then Felix on the outside for Arizona State. Robinson being on the outside of Benjamin is really good for Benjamin because Robinson is not someone that's going to let you pass him easily. He's going to fight the whole way. Like I said, he just ran that four by one, so he got that speed in his leg training day for him. Rye Benjamin is saying, thank you for pushing me to this point, but it's now time for me to go and be this monster coming down this home stretch. No hurdles, no problem for Rye Benjamin here <laughs> as he's heading to the home straightaway all by himself. What a monster season opener we're seeing from Rye Benjamin. 44-42 for Rye Benjamin in that season opener. Can we all just say that was beautiful, the way that he came down that home stretch? I mean, the bounce that he had, the way that he went to his arms, that is like that. If you if you look up, okay, technique for the 400, the last 100, that's exactly what you see. Once again, like I said, he's a tall runner, and he uses his levers in the 400-meter hurdles. But the way that he executed that last 100, that's something that coaches work on. They get you fatigued, and then they will have you run really aggressive. 150s home, 120s home, because I need you to be fatigued but know how to still go to your arms. And that's exactly what he did. So training is right where he wants it to be, I'm sure. And it looked effortless. I mean, that he mm -hmm. looked as com 